I tell you what, this has actually taken a lot longer to set up than I had uh, initially planned for. So I think, well, that is still doing its, doing its thing over there. Uh, we'll make our time worthwhile and try to fix this. Now, if you can guess what's going on here, <laughs> throw down in the comment section below. It's still a bit sticky, so we'll wait on that. And in this bag should be a buttstock for uh, a 30 6 a J.C. Higgins. This one was, well, this gun was owned by my grandpa way back when. I think this gun was probably built around early, in the early 50s. My uncle has it now, and he reached out to me the other day because obviously it's broken and he's unable to find uh, a replacement buttstock plate. So he asked me if I could 3D print him a new one. All right, here is plan A. We are simply just gonna sketch this part. We're gonna trace around the perimeter here. We're gonna scan it into the PC, drop that image into CAD. And because I know the dimension between these two holes is three inches, three and a quarter inches, we can scale the image to the correct size of this part. And then using the spline tool, we can just draw around the perimeter of the part itself. And we should have a pretty good first go at what this part looks like. And then we can print it out, match it up to this and tweak it wherever we need to. So that is the idea. We need to make sure our paper doesn't move though. Okay, and then to get this little spot here, we'll just, we'll just make the assumption that these are relatively symmetrical and I'll just try to find a good spot here where both ends are tangent and I'll just kind of shade it in and that'll be good enough for now. Looks pretty good. So actually not, not too bad. If I line everything up here, it feels pretty darn close. So now the only thing left to do is just kind of mess around with the geometry until we get something that kind of looks like, kind of looks like that. Version two, we're coming along. The features are starting to, it's starting to come in there. It's, it still needs a little bit of work, but I think messing around with the features a bit more, we can get it to look even closer to the original. The holes seem to line up. The profile seems to line up. Uh, I, think, I think we're about there. Now I did spray it down with some Dr. Scholl's foot powder. The idea being is I want to try to use the Polycam app to generate a model from the physical part itself to see what that gives us. And a black finish doesn't really work that well with that app. So give it a little foot powder spray and it comes through pretty darn good. So it's the next day and after a few iterations, I think we got something that's pretty close to, well, it's not identical to this one obviously, but it's close enough to do the job. Um, and I think it'll work. So after making all these and messing around with different features and just modifying things in different ways, uh, ended up with, where is, <laughs> number eight. So this is the one that I ended up going with. Uh, it has a pretty similar profile, pretty similar thickness. Most importantly, uh, the, the profile itself lines up and the screw holes do. And for the most part, the screw seems to sit in there flush. This isn't the exact screw that's used in the gun, but it's a, it gives me a good idea of how this specific screw fits in the holes and try to make the other ones as close to as po close to the same as possible since I don't have the actual ones here. And then after that was done, of course, I printed it out in some carbon fiber nylon because that's what I'll be sending to my uncle to use on his gun. I just made this with just normal print settings. I might, I'm prob probably going to do it with 100% infill just to make it as rigid as possible. Give him a few of them so he can sand it down or trim it up. Kind of modify it how he wants, have a few to mess around with, but that is what we're gonna go with. Oh, if you're curious, this is the Polycam model, which is pretty pretty darn good, you know, for what a camera is. They tried to even make the, uh, tried to make the logo there. The problem with using Polycam is this, it doesn't export a step model. If it exported a step model, it'd be much more useful to me. Uh, this is an STL model, which you can pull into Blender and kind of make it work, but for something as simple as this, it's just easier to just design something based on the original. I guess if you have a Model 50 JC Higgins 30 out 6 and you're looking for a replacement backplate or buttstock plate, uh, I'll put this model online and you can download it and use it as you need, see fit. So now let's get back to this thing.